Sex is a coming together of a man and woman with the sharing of seminal fluids. It is not just a physical activity. There is a spiritual dimension to it. 1 Corinthians 6, 13 to 20. This is one of the reasons why fornication and adultery are very serious. There is an intermingling of spirits that takes place during each act. And this probably contributes to couples beginning to look and behave like each other after a while. This is also what causes demons to be transferred from one party to the other when fornication goes on between non-Christians. However, you need to have a healthy attitude to sex. It was designed by God and built into man as one of the natural appetites, much in the same way as food and sleep. Sex should not also be used for manipulative purposes. As new couples, the physical aspect of sex needs to be learned. There should be no surprises on the wedding night, but you would need to be patient with each other while learning the ropes. In fact, there is a saying that sex begins in the kitchen, meaning that for men, what you get out of your wife during times of lovemaking depends on how well you treated her during the day. Do not use pornographic materials, films, magazines, etc. God made sex to be enjoyed in private between a married couple. It would be voyeurism and a sin to participate in the sexual act of others, especially those who are not married. 